Welcome to Get to Know Your Warrior Football for 2015, the Running Backs Edition. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss, and joined by head coach Paul Winters. Paul, in the past, you've always had running backs step up. Last year was no different. Desmond Martin came through with a monster year, I think over 1,500 yards rushing. Obviously, it proved out to work great for him now in the Detroit Lions camp. This year, you've got four guys, maybe not quite as proven on a consistent basis, but what do you expect from guys like Romello Brown and Demetrius Stinson? Well, you know, going into last year, Des hadn't really proven himself from a consistent basis, so we're kind of in a similar situation, and I think we've been in this situation before. Uh, we, we really, um, running back for us is a position of great strength, mm -hmm. and um, it's a position where I think you go back to Chris Middlebrooks had the thousand yards that year before Joy Bell came in and, and kind of took over. Mm -hmm. And, and year after year, Joy Bell left, and everybody thought, well, who do we have? Well, we had Josh Rennell. You know, Josh Rennell left, and, and Tony Davis, and then um, Des Martin. So uh, we have a couple young guys that, that, you know, were watching last year as Des performed as well as he did. And uh, Romello Brown is a 230-pound tailback who can, who can do a lot of things. Um, catches the football extremely well, runs hard, obviously. Mm -hmm big physical running back, and Demetrius Stenson, who's a 210-pound running back, who um, also has the ability to catch the football, can block, um, excellent runner. Uh, those two are, are really the top of the line, um, I think as good as you'll see in this league. Um, we also have uh, Deontay Nicholas, who is a little different than what we've had. In the, I mean, goes back a little bit more towards Josh Rennell, a little smaller, um, very, very fast, uh, catches the ball extremely well. Um, can do a lot of different things. So, um, you know, you talk, look at the top three, and we expect great things from them. Last year you had uh, Rabia Beidou play a lot on special teams, and just through the spring I saw him kind of feeling like a Jay Hayes role, maybe a little in the slot and just helping out wherever is needed. Well, he's a, he gives us a little bit of experience there because he has played so much special teams, um, but he's a, he's a quality young man who can run the football, can catch the football, can block, um, will again help us on special teams. Um, you recruited two very highly talented uh, running backs in Deontay Moffitt and James Hill. I assume hopefully that those two guys would redshirt like we've tried to do in the past. But what do you see down the road from those two? I like them both. I, I, I think number one, they're quality young men. Um, to, to play running back at this school and this program the way we have it, you have to number one understand where you fit and you can't come in here thinking okay I'm gonna be the greatest thing since sliced bread because that guy may be right in front of you right now <laughs> um, but what you have to know is I'm gonna work really hard I'm gonna get an opportunity when I get an opportunity I'm wrong with it and I think that's what those guys those guys understand and um, you know Deontay is a young man who is a, a, a smaller in stature but physical runner and uh, James Hill, who's a really tall physical runner, about 6'3". So uh, you, you look at those two guys, and they won't necessarily look like guys who, who played here in the past, but the production that they give you is going to be pretty exceptional. Sounds like the um, scout team's going to have some pretty good running backs back then. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Yeah. Um, obviously, when we're talking about running backs, we need to talk about fullback because you need somebody to block for those guys. You've got a couple of returnees in Garrett Wiska and Jason McCoslin, along with a freshman uh, coming in named Stephen Sharon. What do you expect from those three this year? Well, Garrett um, was our, our number two fullback last year. And really, if you look at our offense, we, we probably used the, the, the second tight end more as a fullback in, in the past. And um, you really can't talk about our fullbacks without talking about um, – uh, Nate White, you know, because Nate White is a is a tight end, but he's a move tight end, and we do a lot of things that the fullback does. So, so you talk about him, and you talk about um, God, I can't even think of uh, our other tight ends right yeah, now. Yeah, Ethan Walsh and Trent Broadback. Yeah, Trent. And Aaron Trent, Weston. who is an all league guy, um, also is another guy who they're kind of fullbacks in our offense. So, so you look at that and you say, okay, that's that's part of what we've done. Um, Garrett Wiska is a big physical guy, 250 pounder. Um, he can, you know, definitely going to help us in those goal line, short yard situations. And then um, you look at, at Stephen Sharon, 
who's a, a freshman, incoming freshman, who's a little bit different, goes a little bit more towards the uh, um, faster athletic fullback that we haven't had for a few years. So um, we'll see as he develops how it changes what we do in our offense. So I assume the expectations this year, as they always are, 20, 30 rushing touchdowns, at least <laughs> averaging yeah. 200 rushing yards a game. You know what? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give anything away. I think what we do is we do what our talent allows us to do. We've got some guys who can run the football, are going to make some plays. We got some guys who can throw the football, can catch the football, and they're going to make some plays. So um, our running backs are going to be good players. They're going to be a big part of our offense. Um, but I can't get, I can't tell you how much we're going to do <laughs> running it. Well, also part of that is your offensive line. You've got five guys who played quite a bit at the end of last year, returning, and some other younger guys that got some spot duty that. It's not we'll be good on the offensive line. And, and, and again, that's going to help us run the football. And, and our running backs having the ability to catch the football and to, um, to block allows us to throw it. So uh, we'll, you know, we'll be a balanced um, offense that you won't necessarily be able to predict what we're going to do. Well, fans, you're just going to have to come out to Adams Field on September 12th and see what kind of offense Chris Winters and the boys decide to run. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching this edition of Get to Know Your Warrior Football.